Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome back to Elbow Media Studios. And if this is your first time, you've never seen me do a, a camera review. Man, go go watch the other one we did last time that's got 40,000 views. Oh, and all we do over here is keep it crunk. Let's go. Elbow Media Studio. All right, y'all. Check it out. Now, if y'all know me, y'all already know that I got the baby brother of this camera. The crazy thing about the Zoom Q8 is I have used the Zoom Q8 for years now. So I think I have the expertise to actually do this review again because I did the first review. And I just want to show y'all that, hey, they came out with another Zoom Q8 in 4K. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I felt like this is where they needed to go because as we already know, Zoom is known for their sound quality when it comes to devices. We all know this, right? That's no secret. I already got the H1, I got the H6, I got the Zoom 6L or the Zoom uh, SL, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I got the mixer, I got all that. I got a lot of Zoom products, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this one right here, I'm very, very happy about. But the problem I had with the first one that they released was not the sound, that wasn't my problem. The problem I had with it was the, the actual camera quality. See, let me tell you something. Today, you can actually get great quality out of a cell phone. And I know you're probably asking yourself, Elbow, why do I need to buy a camera like this when I already have an iPhone that has superior quality? Well, <laughs> see, that's the problem here, right? The iPhone is not gonna get you that quality, that sound that you need, all right? Cause I'm gonna show you some B-roll video of me actually using this camera to shoot with the MPC. And then you will really get to understand why having a camera like this is one of the best things you could possibly do if you are a YouTuber and you're trying to do music created creations. So if you're trying to make sure that the music that you're doing sounds superior to everyone else, you need to have your Zoom. Then you don't have to have a Zoom Q8 right? You don't need that. You can actually have the iPhone and you can have a Zoom H1, right? And then you can couple those together doing posts and then you're good. But see, here's the trick. If you got a camera like this, you don't have to worry about editing if you don't know how to edit because everybody don't know how to edit. You can just record with this and then you can go straight to it. Enough of me talking though. I didn't already pretty much, you know what? This review is over. I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. All right, I'm playing. So this camera just came out I, I just bought it, so it probably been out by two weeks. Let's talk about the features and everything that comes with this camera. Now, I will kind of do a small comparison, but like I said, y'all already seen, uh, if you haven't seen my uh, review, go check it out. Um, we're back again with some of the same features, but now it's in a smaller form factor, all right? You still have the articulating or the swinging out of the actual uh, LCD screen here, only difference this time is that you cannot touch the screen. So this is not a touch screen, okay? Which is fine with me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been working with this thing for a couple of days now and all of these buttons correspond with everything that's on the screen. So you don't really need the touch screen. And if I'm being honest, the touch screen in the last one wasn't that great. Anyway, it wasn't on the iPhone level, nothing like that, or even Android. So that really doesn't matter, okay? Let's just walk around this camera real quick like we normally do, all right? Right here, you have your battery right here. So it comes with a battery. I, I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you what the, the amps are. I don't know nothing about that because I'm not that smart. But you have your battery compartment right here, just like you had in the last camera. You also have your, you know, of course you have your lens here. I wanna say this is the same lens. Well, it's not the same one because it's an upgraded lens. So it's a 4K camera now. But uh, I think Logitech made the last, you know, lens for the other zoom cameras so i'm gonna believe that they probably went back with them this go around here we go we this is where the sound comes in this is the most beautiful part about this camera having two xlrs right so you know what that means that means that you can record two channels coming in simultaneously you're not going to be able to do that with the iphone i'm telling you right now i don't know why i keep bashing the iphone i'm sorry all right, let me show you what i got in my hand i got a damn iphone i'm sorry i'm sorry apple my bad anyway all right so you have your volume control right here that's for each individual channel you have your headphones right here okay you have your headphone jack right here now comes the great part you actually have a type c data connection cable or data connection connection here that did say connection connection 
Lord have mercy. You have your data connection here. Let me tell you what this does, because I already know what y'all thinking. Man, I had that damn camera last couple of years ago, and whenever I would try to stream with that camera, it was garbage. It did not come out right. Listen to me. That is not a problem now. So they went with the type C, the data transfer is a lot faster. So now, now, yes, you can stream with a Zoom Q8 now. Yes, yes, you can do that now. That is super, super awesome. You have your micro HDMI right here. So you can use something like a cam link or something like that. If you do not believe me that the data transfer is fast enough for you to do web and do your, you know, your whole streaming thing and all that, you ain't got to listen to me. Who am I? I ain't nobody. Go ahead on and grab your HDMI cable and then grab you because you're going to be spending more money because evidently you got it because you don't want to use the data transfer. Go ahead on and grab you a cam link or grab you some type of device that converts, you know, video into, uh, you know, digital signal. And then you can definitely do it that way. OK, remember, we got our screen back here. If you flip that screen over, now you have some different things. You have phantom power here. The last one had phantom power, power as you already know. All right. You have your phantom power and you also have your minus 20 dB. If you got a mic that's just mad loud and you want to bring that down a couple of db you have your isolations here for your channel one and your channel two right here you have your mic indicator you have a micro sd connection now right this is a micro xd slot so you know what that means that means that you do not need a full sd card you can use the small SD card. And right now I have a 128 gigabyte card in here for my 4K recording because you know I like to get my 4K game up. So that's everything that's in the back. All right. Underneath here, you also have a tripod connection. So if you have a tripod, you can slap this bad boy on a tripod and do your thing. You already know at the top right here, you got your record button. And then right here we have our capsule. Now, y'all remember last year, or I don't know, been about four years now. Maybe that camera's been out longer than that. You have your detachable capsule here, okay? And you remember, this is super dope because if you want to get rid of this one, and this is the stereo one, you can actually use the boom mic that I've already had. I'm going to show you some B-roll. I still got that boom mic that you can connect on here so you can get actually better sound than you're already getting. I mean, come on, man. This is stupid crazy. And they also have an attachment that you can actually buy to change this into a four-track recorder. Just listen to what I just said right now. You can make this camera become a four-track recorder, what I actually used to use when I was trying to be a rapper and I was trying to blow the hell up. OK, now that comes on something this freaking small. I mean, come on, man. You know what? Technology is just moving so fast. It's just so amazing. OK, now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, all right, elbow, all of that's dope. All of that's cool. You know what I mean? But what about this screen? What are some of the things that I can do? Let's go ahead and turn it on so I can show you what you're working with. Right. We're just going to power that bad boy on real quick. And then I'm gonna give you a real quick view of some of the features that are inside of this small little form factor, okay? Now, right here, as you can see, I'm talking, so you see the levels that are showing you right here on the screen that are monitoring my levels, okay? We're gonna go from left to right with all our buttons. The first button is changing how, what type of format you want. You can do uh, movie and wave, you can do wave, or you can do multi-wave, okay? These are your two options you have as far as how you want to record. If you want to record a movie and then you want to actually have a wave record at the same time, you can actually have that delivered to you on the SD. So when you pull the SD out, you'll be able to separate those two signals and you can mix them separately as far as your audio or whatever. Next down is you have your resolution. You have a resolution of 4K, you have 1080, and you have 720. OK, which is crazy, because, again, if you're a fan of this camera, and you got the one, the, the, the last iteration and you already know that was not an option. It wasn't not it wasn't a bad looking camera. It just wasn't the greatest. And it kind of caused people to feel like, why would I buy a camera that doesn't have great, you know, visuals, but it has great sound like I want it all in one package. Well, get what? get what they didn't just gave it to you all right now right here you have your frames per second you have 30 25 and 24 which is to be is a standard now you don't have any 60 frames so you're not going to be doing any slow motion but don't even worry about that because don't nobody want to see you slow motion anyway don't even trip all right then you got your audio so you can definitely have different hertz or whatever i like to keep that at 48 i don't want to play with that but you do have that option okay then you have five 
different camera views you can do. You have the wide angle, and then you have five different other ones that you can use. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really flattered with the fish eye. The fish eye is back. I'm going to show you some footage here in a minute. You're probably looking at it right now. The fish eye is not great, but, you know, it is what it is. That's what these cameras do. If you don't want the fish eye, you can definitely change that. But, you know, I kind of like the wide angle, so I'm not going to front. But if you want to zoom in, you can do that. Okay. All right. Now, you also have some different scenes so if you're outside you're inside it's going to try to do some balancing with the with, you know with the color i mean it's okay it's not great i would probably do that in post if i was you but if you don't have post and you're not doing a lot of editing i get it just go ahead and use that it also has some low light settings right here which is cool you know what i mean we're talking just just so you know we're talking color grading and we're talking uh white balance here with that auto just so you know all right and then you can change some of your low light and stuff like that now this is where it gets super duper dope because you can actually bounce into your mixer here and you can do some cool things man on a freaking camcorder this is stupid now remember we were talking about how those buttons correspond with what's on the screen because you no longer have the touch screen anymore so you can actually do all of your panning here at the top here you can actually do some of your leveling here if you want to change some of your levels without using the buttons here you actually have an effects button here where you can add compression you can add a limiter you can add a leveler you can add a de -esser. you can add a gate you already know that's crazy but this is zoom product that's that's what they're about they're about the sound i'm telling you if i was in one of their meetings and i was the guy that was speaking up saying hey y'all need to fix the camera some guy's gonna tell me to get the hell out of me because it's about sound you already know that but we'll throw a little 4k up in there just to make a few people happy but this is where the the the, the potatoes and the meat and every goddamn thing else you want to throw on that plate that ain't vegetables live all right now this right here you can change the channel here so you can actually go through and you can actually level out each channel. That's how you do it. That's your channel select. And right here you have your low cut. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to change your low cut, you can change the hertz on how you want to do that. Okay. And then you have your exit here. Okay. Right. So I told y'all before, this thing is super, super dope. The sound portion of it sounds great. They they have came back. They listened to everyone when everybody was complaining, saying that the camera was dope, it was okay, but it needed to have better visuals. They have delivered on the better visuals. And so here it is, the actual Zoom Q8N 4, uh, 4K camcorder, all right? All right, man. Listen to me, man. I appreciate y'all coming by and checking out the channel, man. The last video did 40,000 views. Let's see if we can get this video up to 40,000 as well. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Do not forget to hit that like button. If I missed anything, I'm going to be doing more features and more things on this camera. I'm going to be shooting with this camera. So like I said, we're going to use this camera in the studio because I am a fan of Zoom products, period. I may have four or eight or I don't even know how many products I got no more. They just hanging around just all over the day place you know what i mean but i love their products and i love what they offer okay hey one thing I, one thing i gotta say before i go i find it odd that only 30 percent of the people that come by and they watch these great videos here at our channel only hit subscribe uh subscribe you know what i'm saying 36 percent. so i'm trying to figure out why is that what is it that we're not doing right is it me is it big baby is it, is it how too great i don't know what the hell going on but i tell y'all what i need y'all to do get down in the comments and tell me why you're not hitting the subscription button that will really help us a lot but if you love what you're watching you think that you have value here in this channel go ahead on and hit the subscription button hit that like button hit the notification bell because this is why we do this we need that confirmation to know that we're doing the right thing here and plus if you hit that like button when youtube watches and they see that these videos are getting a lot of likes they're going to push these videos out to people that need to see this and people that need this information all right all right man walk his elbow bro i'm gonna get up out of here ain't nothing but love i'll catch y'all in the next video all right, all right, man. One. Peace. I'm out.